So in the last video, we got the router sled together, but there ended up being a problem with the height of the sled and the maximum depth that the router can cut. So let's glue down this Osage iron slab, and then I'll explain how I fixed it. So we gotta get it cut down, which I already started doing cut this off the back side it was a little too long so what I'm thinking is we're gonna kind of center this piece right here so the table will be straight we'll end up cutting a little bit off this side and a little bit off this side somewhat of an angle I'm gonna get stencil laid out what we're end up doing is we'll use this piece cutting it down squaring it up and everything and using it as two legs so one will go on this side one will go on that side we'll probably do black epoxy with some diamond flake we'll end up cutting it got a mark over here this whole section we'll put a little cut in it it will end up being the leg for the one side and then we'll have two legs on that side. So we'll get this seam to match up. The epoxy will match up and the wood grain should match up perfectly into the corner. All right, let's get started. Hey guys, so figured out a couple of things. Probably gonna drop this height down by a half an inch. Unless we can't clear it. Either that or switch this three quarter to half inch. But I'd rather lower down this short side to this beam. And then this would be the tall side because it has the extra three quarter. So we'll take off maybe a half off the table saw. Just run this side along the fence. But it's dark. So I will catch you tomorrow. So I ended up taking out the 
three quarter melamine and switching it for a quarter inch plywood. And then instead of cutting down these rails, I added a sheet of three quarter plywood underneath this, lift the whole bed. So now we can start getting this thing flat. I'm going to finish this up and then I'll get back to you guys. So I started sucking this all up. I think this would be pretty cool if we put it in some resin. Maybe put it on the lathe. Alright. I'll get you when the slab's flat. Or when I flip it over hey guys so with the top of the slab flat now we're just going to clean up the sides clean out any of these cracks and beetle holes i'm thinking it'll make a nice feature all right i'll show you how it's done getting the mold put together so once the silicone dries then I will put the slab in if you guys want a little video on how to make a mold for a table just leave some comments and I'll make a video about it mixed up a little bit of epoxy we're gonna pre-coat just so that way we don't get any chance of the black staining the top.
that's where we're at. Got it poured. Gonna give this a couple of days, let everything cure, and then probably flatten it on the sled, both sides. So, thanks for watching, guys. Later.